Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Now, as Mary Sarah, what is your role like? Our role is to the drum committee, make sure it goes smoothly, set the agenda, and work with my team administrator to get the witness to stand, testify on behalf of the girls, and we just make sure that there is a smooth committee process. I work for the girls are under the jurisdiction of the Government Operations and Elections Committee. Obviously, election, and then the government operations, there's a whole bunch of different things. Anything that has to do with any of the state agencies, the boards, or anything like that, anything with rulemaking, pensions and government committees, uh, jurisdiction, there's a whole list of things really. You might call it in council. There's some examples of things that we listen to. Representative Nelson, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Lauren. As committee lead, what is your role like? Well, the role of the committee lead is part of the minority is to make sure our amendments get heard, make sure um, coordinate with the, with the uh, committee chair and the committee CA um, to make sure that we know what the amendments they have, when bills are going to be brought up, um, so I coordinate with the other committee members. Don't wait to hear them to make sure they're all there for votes um, and to try and get our message out and our amendments out so that we our message gets out to the public and our message gets out to the community. What is your work in the process of what's going on with Kevin? Um, with the process of what's going on with Kevin, we've we've worked well together. Um, we met before um, session and talked about a few of the things. Um, the last two years, I was committee chair of the government operations of the local government division of the government operations committee. So I just gave it some of the continuing bills that always seem to come up and uh, just to give her a heads up on them, a warning, so that she doesn't fall into a trap and um, I don't know if that's a great trap she wants to fall into. But so that's what she's still got to do. She's blindsided by some of these bills that come up every year that can be problems. Representative Hoffman, would you care to comment on your work relationship with Representative Nelson and with some of the other members of the committee? I think that we have a good working relationship. Representative Nelson has been um, fun to work with, and the entire committee has been working really happy with them, and I think she's been very really cordial back and forth, and I think we both share the same mission of wanting to make sure we have a smooth committee process and we want all the members to be heard and we have an opportunity to address the issues. And Representative Hoffman, what are some of the issues you would like to see the government's operations and elections committee address this legislative session? Well, I think for me, the biggest thing is government reform, making sure that we're looking, we're looking at all the different things that we do and making sure there's not a duplication and a lot of overlap. And so really, the efficiency, the duplication, and reform that I'm looking at. And then also, I'm, I'm interested in, in some election stuff like the total ID. So those are just a few of the things. Uh, there's much more than that, but I would say those are the sort of words that would be overwhelming things that I'm trying to find. Representative Nelson, I pose a similar question to you. What are some of the main issues you would like to see the committee address in this legislative session? Well, there would be issues that we're seeing so far this year, the election committee, uh, part of it, the, the election reform, some of the issues that, that the Republican Party wants to where they want to go on, on some of these issues as, as opposed to what I want to go on, uh, where I believe they should go. Um, just government operations as a whole, um, different ways of doing things, um, the, the byplay between cities and townships and counties and, and the states, and, and all those issues that are on this committee are important. Representative Hoffman, what is your hope for the committee going forward? Well, uh, obviously that we can hear as many bills as we have the ability to hear, and uh, that we continue to work well together and to really work on the behalf of the people in the state of Minnesota because that's what we're trying to do. And so we want to cover as many bills as we can with it as much reform as we can and with up to the best interest of the people in the state. Representative Nelson, same question to you. What is your hope for the committee going forward? Um, as long as we continue working in, you know, in a fashion and, and we, even if we don't agree on issues, at least working through the committee and having a respectful, um, respectful disagreement. Thanks, Brian and Nelson. Thanks for taking time for us. Thank you, Dr. Kevin, for being here.